Hello everyone and welcome to another Harry Potter room tour video from me. So this video was requested by Rachel Emma so thank you very much for that. I thought I'd already done this video but I can't find it so evidently not. In today's video I'm going to be showing you all of the items I have bought, Harry Potter wise of course, from the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studio tour in Leavesden. If you're interested in Warner Brothers studio tour videos, I a while ago I did a video on my one of the studio tour tips. So if you're going to the studio tour, I've done a video on hints and tips and secrets, that kind of thing, which I'll link below. This video might be a little tough to do because all of my studio tour items obviously are scattered about the room, they're not in one place, but I will try and get everything for you. So the first thing is up here on the wall and it is this wanted Bellatrix Lestrange poster. This was the second poster I bought from the tour. I think I have three posters from the Warner Brothers studio tour, so I'll well, I'll be sure to let you know. And uh, I can't remember how much this cost me, I'm afraid. The next thing from the studio tour was this Dobby figure that my mum actually bought for me, this Dobby toy. And that cost £23.95 because as you can see just there, I've left the tag on him. Then up there, technically not purchases, but there's some of my Warner Brothers studio tour bags. This Dobby toy was also brought from the Warner Brothers studio tour, as you can see by the packaging. And he cost £13.95. The next thing bought from the studio tour was this uh, photo frame, Bellatrix Exchange photo frame. And that cost £12.95. Moving on, these Gringotts coins were also bought from the studio tour. Let me try and lift them for you. And they cost... it doesn't say a price. Moving on, this night bus just here was bought from the Warner Brothers studio tour. And unfortunately, I can't seem to find a price on that. Next up, we have this Bookbeak keychain. Really cute. I don't know if my camera's going to focus. And the price is still on this. This cost me £4.95. And then we have, of course, some sweets. So if you look at the back there, I bought that chocolate frog from the studio tour. That one's just an empty box. And I can't remember how much the chocolate frog was, but I believe it's about £10 to £12. Then down here, on the left there, we have of course the Bertie Bots Every Flavour Beans. And they cost me £8.95 when I bought them. I don't know if they're more expensive now. Here is my sealed chocolate frog. So we'll see if there's a price on that. No, no price. So I don't know how much it was, but like I said, £10 to £12. And here is the card from the first chocolate frog, Rowena Ravenclaw. Moving on, we have my Butterbeer ice cream thing. Ice cr I don't know what they're called. Um, if you do buy Butterbeer ice cream at the tour, you get to keep your cup that it came in. And because I'm sad, I actually kept my scoops as well. <laughs> right at the back there, I don't know if you can see, there's various lollies. There is a blood pop, two of the ice mice, I think that's what they're called or something. Uh, some of the sugar quills and a dark mark. They're around three to four pounds each. And what the lollies are in are also from the studio tour. So we have a Bellatrix of Strange Have You Seen This Witch cup and a Death Eater cup there. I can't remember how much they cost, I'm very sorry. And this I Must Not Tell Lies cup is also from the studio tour. It doesn't say how much on the bottom, unfortunately. And I didn't actually purchase this one. This one was purchased by my friend Katie, who came to the studio tour with me, and she did a clear out and got rid of it. So obviously, I have it. And up there you can see my Butterbeer cups. On the right, the smaller one, was the first Butterbeer cup that I had uh, about four years ago when I first went. And on the left there is the updated one, bearing in mind I went last year, so I don't know if they've updated them even more. Again, if you buy Butterbeer, which I personally don't enjoy, you do get to keep your cup. As you can see, up there in the corner are some more Harry Potter bags from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. And right next to it is this Bellatrix Lestrange poster that I also bought from the studio tour. I don't know how much it cost me though. Moving on, we have of course some studio tour bookmarks which you get free when you purchase something. I have some of those scattered around on the wall as well, as you can see here. Also on my wall I have a random travel style uh, announcement for this tour there and some other little articles around the wall. Also on the wall I have a couple of postcards. These came from the studio tour. I think they're about 75p each. So we have the Bellatrix one there a Draco one there and I did buy a few more postcards but I really can't remember which postcards are from the tour and which aren't. Moving on we have of course the official guidebooks for the tour so we have the Hogwarts Express version. How much do these cost? I'm not too sure. I think they're about £10. I can't remember how much they cost but that was the new edition when the Hogwarts Express came. Then we have the older edition 
I have another two of those and then I have another new edition. This is signed by somebody. I can't remember who I'm afraid. Next up we have this Slytherin pillow which cost me £19.95. This Slytherin poster at the back there also came from the studio tour. Again I can't remember how much they were. Then I'm very sorry I can't show you properly but on top of my wardrobe, I'll try and zoom, right at the back there you can see a remember all in a box. That also came from the studio tour but I don't remember how much it cost and I'm very sorry I can't show you properly because I can't get to the wardrobe at the minute. Now there's a lot of plushies in there, that's my Harry Potter plush section. There's a lot of these plushies that came from the studio tour, as you can see the Pygmy Puffs in front did, the Pygmy Puff keychains, there's a Scabbers, there's a Crookshanks, a Fang in the back, uh, a Hedwig somewhere, lots of these came from the studio tour but I'm planning on doing an updated plushie video so I won't be showing you them in this video. Next up are these three badges, so we have Head Girl, Quidditch Ireland and Slytherin Prefect. I can't remember how much these cost so I'm gonna hope it's at the back. And it was, they cost me £6.95 each. Then I could be wrong but I believe I only have one t-shirt from the one of other studio tour. This was the first time I went, so as you can see, oh, it dropped. I've had to move it. As you can see, it's very, very faded, and it was a Slytherin shirt. I can't remember how much this cost me though. Then we have a few badges and a keyring that came from the studio tour. I've actually done a video on my badges and another, a separate video on my keyrings if you'd like to go and check those out. Now I could be wrong because I can't remember but I think this poster also came from the studio tour. Next up I've bought two wands from the Warner Brothers studio tour. The first one is Nymphadora Tonks and the second one is Severus Snape. I won't show them properly in this video because I recently just did an updated wand uh, video and they're in that so. And they were £24.00. 95 each. Then I literally have some scrumpled up paper here, which is the paper that they use to uh, put your items in. Yes, I know I'm really sad, but I've kept the paper. <laughs> Next up, I have lots and lots of different bags because I keep all my bags. So we have this black one that you've seen up on the wall. That's quite big. We have this huge bag which has <laughs> lots and lots of other bags in it. And I also have this tote bag, which cost a little bit more, I think. And that's when I went for Hogwarts in the snow. Next up, I have a few paper-based bits, which I've shown in videos before. So I recently did my gift cards and tickets. This is all of my studio tour tickets. Then all of my children's passports and some random bits. Then we have all of my photos that I've had at the tour, which I think I've shown in a video before. So we have this one. This one of my mum on a broomstick. The previous one was me and my mum on the Hogwarts Express. This one on my third visit with me and mum in the Flying Ford Anglia. This one on, on my first visit uh, with me riding a broom. And this one on my third visit, me just as Bellatrix Lestrange on a broom. So I can't remember how much the photos cost, so I'm very sorry about that. And then technically not merchandise, but here are all the photos I've taken. As you can see, I've been to the tour on the 18th of May 2013, the 30th of August 2014, the 28th of June 2015, and the 6th of December 2015. So it's been a long time since I went, actually. Two years. Wow. And I have shown these pictures in my video, all of the Harry Potter filming locations I've been to, so I'm not going to show the pictures here. And that's pretty much it. I have another flyer here. Another flyer on the right there. Yet another flyer. And another one. And another one. And another bookmark. And another bookmark. And would you believe it, another flyer. <laughs> and I believe that's everything. The only thing I can think of that I haven't shown you is my receipts because yes, I am sad and I have kept all my <laughs> receipts um, from my visits. So that's all of my studio tour items in one video. So thank you again, Rachel, Emma, for suggesting this. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like the video. I'm sorry if it's a little bit lengthy, but there's a book quite a few things on all my visits so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon bye bye